Hey everyone, I'm just going to cover something off that's actually quite a common issue with some uh, Apogee games and that's to do with um, display stuttering. So um, it's a common issue uh, amongst various uh, video cards of course um, and I believe it's to do with the way the timings are all handled within some versions of the game. Um, but yeah, you can see here on my last video... Uh, you see some bad stuttering on this laptop. And it's um, actually a common issue. So uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to um, get the files you need. Um, you know, what the actual issue is um, and how to address it. So let's get started. So this is the issue. So I've got uh, King 5 version 1.4 on this machine. And what we're going to do is, because this game always likes to unmap my buttons, remap them. And we're going to start a new game. And you can see we're already getting some stuttering. Yeah, so moving left and right, some really bad um, whoops, stuttering. Makes it really unplayable, it's horrible. No one likes that. Interestingly enough, uh, if we go into one of these other games like um, King Dreams, this one works fine actually. So yep, yeah, moving left and right works fine, moving upwards works fine. Um, so yeah, that one's good. And um, we'll exit here, Biomenace. So this is version 1.1. All right, let's go and check my settings out. Yep, they're all mapped. Start a new game. Always gonna go for the machine guns and grenades behind the plane. But yeah, natively this one works fine as well, so as I said, it seems to affect a few Commander King games noticeably, so um, I've seen it a lot with um, King 4, 5 and 6, uh, those episodes in particular. Um, I've got like uh, King 1, King Dreams, King 2, and those don't uh, aren't affected on this. But I believe this patch can kind of work for those if you can find the files to go with them. But this one, um, the developers released them for King 4, 5 and 6. So let's jump over to my um, desktop and we're going to have a look at the files that are needed. Alright, so in the link of the video description is going to be a link to the Vogons page here. Um with the issue so commander keen four five and six choppy scrolling so down the very bottom this um, smart chap here shout out to him um, he has written some timing stuff for the game so um, you can see here um, there's going to be a few things you're going to need you're going to need uh, very specific versions of these Keen games, so 1.4 for um, Keen 4 and 5, and then 1.5 for Commander Keen 6. So there's two files you're going to need. First of all, these are the custom um, timing files for, the, for each version of the game, and uh, this link here takes you to this website, uh, where you scroll down the bottom and you look for CK patch, so this one here. There's also more information as well, if you click on this link here, uh, it takes you to another website where they um, talk about more modding of the game and stuff like this. So the idea is it's not actually changing the code of the game, it's actually just changing um, what's run running in RAM essentially, so yeah. So either or you want to click on this, to get the CK patch executable files, 
and you need the um, custom timings files from this guy here and then what I like to do is put them all in one folder. Um, so I just had to re-record this bit because there's a big old plane going over here but basically what I like to do is cut all of these and put them inside of the CK patch directory and then what we're going to do is copy this whole contents of this whole directory essentially to each um, Commander King game folder and then we're going to run CK bat you know, 4 if it's Commander Keen 4 and CK5 for Commander Keen 5 and stuff like that. So, yeah, so what we'll do is once you've downloaded the folders, uh, files, sorry, and got your files prepped and you've got, assuming you can find the correct version of these games, which can be quite hard to do, um, I can't show you where to get that because you can get the games from all sorts of places. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's move over to the computer and copy the files over to that. Um, yeah, and see um, what we've got going on. So, I'll be back. Alright, so now that we've got all the files and got them copied over to my computer, what we're going to do is... Um, this is what I do at least, to go and find the folder... CK patch and I actually copy the contents with everything in it so that includes the CK patch itself files and then we've got the um, custom files like the bat file that starts the um, settings we're going to change and executes it using CK patch so if I go to that here's all the files I mean um, items are going to be changed all the mappings Delay code with screen update. And I believe it's bits from that. So it's quite interesting. So what I do is I just copy this. And then what I do is I put it into my game directory. So here it is there. You can probably go through and delete, like, you know, we're not going to be running all of these so you know we can get rid of them uh, if you want to clean up the directory but the files are pretty small so I'm just gonna leave them all in there and you can create a shortcut on the desktop or something like that you know to run it now to, to run the game with the fixes in place you have to run the associated batch, uh, batch script sorry so that is CK5 so we're just gonna run that and as you can see it's still 1.4 all our sound is still detected and things like that, so that's really good. And we're just going to load it up and start a new game. And you can see right away that we're not getting any juddering in the introduction screen. Once again, I have to configure these. I think if I save my game, it might actually keep them, but anyway. Alright, let's give it a try. Looking great. Yeah, so working a treat. Yeah, anyway, that's just a quick fix on how to get um, King 4, 5, and 6 episodes working on a screen with those display issues. Um, I'm not aware of any um, custom files like this for um, episodes 1, 2, and 3. But with some research, you never know, there might be something out there. Um, information, of course, in the description for all the download links and things like that. And, of course, shout out to the Vogons community once again, coming through with a good fix for that. So thanks very much, guys, for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, in short, it's pretty much get the two um, file distributions you need. So the CK patch um, executable files and then the actual patches themselves. Copy that to your game directory and run the associated batch file. So pretty easy, um, nothing too complicated on that one. So yeah, 
hopefully that helps someone out um it's a common problem um i've tried this on a few different machines so far so good so hopefully that works and of course i mean there is the dos box you can do and things like that but um yeah it also works in this dos mode so what i'll do is i'll restart my computer here um and we'll just run that ck5 Go straight in for the game. Yeah, it works a treat in MS DOS mode too. So um, I didn't know that. I just thought I'd show you guys that. Yeah, can be done. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, that wraps this one up. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, just, as I said, you just need those files and things like that to go with the. Um, with the game and then you're all set to go so yeah hopefully that helps um people out for the future but that's how to do it basically um any um good suggestions uh leave them in the comments section for any um you know different methods that you guys have got for fixing this but yeah it's a bit of a common issue so yeah Alrighty, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys later